Good evening and welcome to the Wellness Gala Plus series. My name is Barb Minnemeyer and I'm the founder and CEO of Your Healthy Truth. And I help men and women get healthy and lose weight by counting chemicals, not calories. Okay, so tonight we're going to make some homemade almond milk. Free of chemicals, free of any additives, just four ingredients and you know what each one is and it's oh so good for you. So, before I jump into making it, I just wanted to go over a couple things with you. You know, I was uh, perusing around and I looked up all the almond milks, okay? I, normally I used to look at all the labels of the almond milks in the stores, but I know what's in them now, but I just printed these off of the internet and I just want to read just a couple of them. So, so delicious almond milk. Ingredients, this is unsweetened. Almond milk, filtered water, almonds. Contains 2% or less of vitamin A, uh, mineral blend, calcium carbonate, vitamin E, acetate, vitamin A, palmitate, vitamin D2, sea salt, natural flavor, chemicals, uh, sunflower, sunflower lecithin, locust bean gum, gallon gum, absorbic acid. Now all of those that I just read there towards the end, those are all emulsifiers and thickeners and also preservatives, you know, to keep everything mixed together. You know, sometimes oil and water can't mix together, but if you add an emulsifier, it will make it, it will have it, it'll mix together for you. So that's just so delicious. Now we have almond breeze. They have, this one is, it's the vanilla flavor, almond milk, filtered water, almonds, cane sugar, calcium carbonate, sea salt, potassium citrate, the whole sunflower lecithin, the whole nine yards, okay? So now this one has sugar added, cane sugar added, okay? We don't have any sugar in ours, and it's even better than theirs, so, okay. So I just want to... Um, Elmhurst milked almonds. Now I had a client who uses this and she bought one and she took a picture of the label on it and sent it to me and it was just almonds and water. I don't know how it sits on the shelf for any longer than like three days without a preservative in it, but they didn't have that on the label. But anyway, that was the cleanest one I'd ever seen, quite frankly. So uh, Elmhurst have a single almond milk sweetened with sugar, ingredients, filtered water, almonds, cane sugar, salt, but this particular one has natural flavors in it. We know those are chemicals, okay? Over as many as 100 different chemicals can hide behind that label. So anytime you pick something up off the shelf, forget almond milk, everything else, natural flavors, put it back, chemicals. And you may think it's only in that one product, but you know what? Every product that you buy seems to have natural flavors and over time the buildup is not a good thing for us. Um, Pacific Organic Almond Milk is another one. Uh, the ingredients are almonds, water, dried cane syrup, potassium. This one has carrageenan in it, okay, which is a... Um, it's like a degraded seaweed that is known to cause cancer, that it's carcinogenic, and they have that in theirs. So that's definitely off the list, okay? Um, Almond Dream is another one. Um, this one has also the carrageenan in it. Sea salt, gallon gum, natural flavor. So that not only has the carrageenan or genin, how well I say genin, whatever. Uh, but it also has natural flavors, okay? So I think you get the picture, you know? I did print off quite a few, and Trader Joe. Okay, let's look at Trader Joe. A lot of people, I go to Trader Joe a lot, and I tell my clients all the time too, just because it's Trader Joe does not mean that everything is, you know, a-okay at Trader Joe's. Um, so this one has the almonds, the, the water, tricalcium phosphate, uh, gallon gum, the potassium, phosphate, xanthan gum, these are all thickeners and emulsifiers, um, and palminate, okay, so, you know, and then there's the Whole Foods one that also has everything all the others have, okay, with the sugar 
And um, I see a lot of people buying this, this Calafia Farms, okay, which is, uh, seems to be a popular one in the homes that I've been in anyway. And this one has pure cane sugar, water almonds, lecithin, thin, sea salt, natural flavors. Anyway, all that, all that stuff. So here's the deal. You don't need to have all this stuff in your almond milk, okay? Our almond milk is gonna have water, almonds, a little, a teaspoon of vanilla, and a little bit of salt, and that's it. Nothing else. But now the deal with ours is, it'll last you three days in the refrigerator because there are no preservatives or any other additives in there, okay? So that's the deal on that, okay? And I have to tell you, I, I've tried the almond milks, you know, in, out of the stores, and I never really cared for the flavor, but this is just so good. Well, anyway, enough of that. Let's get to it, and let's make our almond milk, okay? So I've had these guys soaking since this morning. Normally when I make it, I do it the night before. I soak them overnight, and they're ready in the morning. So I put this in about 11 o'clock, and it's been soaking ever since. So now I'm going to get rid of all this water that's in here now, okay? So we're going to drain it, okay, and I use only filtered water, so we're going to rinse them off again, okay. Whoops, I guess you can't see me in the sink here. Okay, so I've rinsed them off again. Now I'm going to put them in, I have a blend tech, which I love, which blends just about anything. Okay, so I'm going to put that in there, and I'm going to add to it four cups of water, okay? So it's one cup of almonds to four cups of water, okay? So sit tight while I fill this. And it, you know what? It only takes 10 minutes. You put the almonds in the water overnight, you soak them, and then once you drain it and you do what we're doing now, you'll see it's only going to take like 10 minutes if all goes according to plan, you know. I don't want to set myself up here. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the four cups of water. Okay. And then we're gonna put this, now this may be a little noisy, so you may wanna, I can't mute you, so you'll have to mute yourself. Okay, so. All right, so now, okay, here we go. Whoops. Hold on, guys. nut bag. Hey Juliet, how are you? Everybody chuckles when I talk about my nut bag here and hell, I, I chuckle too, so FYI. But I tried using cheesecloth and for me that just didn't seem to work as well. So I have this nut bag, I got it off of Amazon. It is Ellie's Best is the name and I think I paid some like seven, eight dollars for it, okay? But it's really fabulous. So now I'm going to get my nut bag here. And um, then we're 
then we're going to pour this in here. One time I didn't have the bag in the bowl properly. Whoa, I had almond milk all over my counter. So you got to be careful. Okay, so now I'm just going to pour this in here. And then I'm just going to squeeze it because there's still some sediment that's in the bottom of the bag here from the almonds. So I'm just going to squeeze this here. Get all the liquid out that I can. And what's great about the sediment that's left over is uh, I can put, you can put it in a smoothie. I put it in smoothies because I'm a smoothie girl. I love smoothies. And you can add it to a smoothie or some also flatten it out on a... Uh, on a uh, flat pan there, and they put it in the oven and they bake it like a cracker kind of thing. You just kind of roll it out in the pan there, and uh, and you can do that. I also had a client who put it atop of some salmon. She did some salmon, and she had the uh, it was crusted with this uh, the sediment from the almonds. So that was very clever, I thought. Okay, so now I'm going to squeeze this. Okay, and then I'm going to get a bowl here so you can see what this sediment looks like. Uh, oops, nope. That would have toppled you guys right on the floor. Alright, so now I'm going to put some of this in here. So this is the sediment that we get out of it, okay? And, uh, you know, that's all it is, is the mushed up almonds. Okay, put that aside and save that for the morning for my smoothie. Now I'm going to rinse out the blender. And we just have uh, one more thing to do and we're done. How about that? Okay. All right, so now I'm going to put this here. And now I'm going to take this almond milk and I'm going to put it back into the blender. Okay, and then I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla, one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. Easy for me to say, what the heck happened to my teaspoons here? Well, that's crazy. Okay. I'll just have to use this and improvise. So I'm just going to do half of that. And I'm going to put that in there like that. And then I'm going to put a little bit of salt in this. And... Okay, I just had my salt. I did have my salt. Okay, here we go. Just going to do just a little bit. A little bit of salt. That's it. And then we're going to, we're going to pulse it a little bit and then we're done. Okay. Now really, how long did that take me? Literally like 10 minutes. And we're done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in my container right here. And I get about almost four cups out of this. Wow, look at that. That was awesome. But I think what I'm going to do first 
is I'm going to take, I should have poured some of this in here first. Cheers, everybody. Homemade almond milk, and all it has is almonds, water, vanilla, and a little bit of salt. Oh, I love it. Better than anything you'll ever buy in the store, trust me. Okay, so that's it for me tonight. So I just wanted to thank you for, for joining us this evening, for watching the Wellness Gala Plus series. Okay, so visit our website, wellnessgala.com, for more information on all that we do. Any information around me, you can get off the website. Okay, my, uh, my website's on there. I have other recipes in there and some articles in there. And If you want to get in touch with me, you'll find all my info there. Or you can email me at barb at yourhealthytruth.com. Okay? So everybody have a great night. Until the next round, I'll see you soon. Bye.